I published a video on how to make a music video and then one of my followers or subscribers, he said, hey, I would be interested in knowing how you record the audio for it, you know? Great. And I was like, yeah, I can, I can tell you. And then I thought, well, if I recorded my album Universal Universe at your studio here. Great album. And then I released a second album in collaboration with you. Oh. Some writing songs together. That was beautiful. Called Pack and Go. Underrated album, by the way. By the way. I wouldn't even be saying that just because I co-wrote it. Yeah. Check it out. There's a check, link. Check that out. Right okay. Please do. I would love to talk about this. I used to think it was so hard. Like, you know, you read stuff. Oh, you need two pencil condensers and stereo, one of the 12th fret, one of the bridge, another. It's like, no, no, no. What I've learned from doing this a lot is that that kind of stuff does not matter nearly as much as you might think yeah. that it might matter. Again, good gear is great to have, stuff like that. So let's just run down really what we use to yeah. do that. I'm using a condenser microphone, which is probably what you're gonna want. Mine is an AT4050, Audio-Technica 4050. Not an inexpensive mic, but definitely not the most expensive mic out there. I think it's just a good all around thing. I'm going into the same preamp that you use for yours, uh, Universal Audio. Yeah, I got it. 6176. Best, again, not inexpensive, but this is the one piece of gear where I invested in a piece of gear and my recordings improved. Nothing else I've ever bought has improved my recordings just by throwing money at it. That is the only time that it's ever happened. That like I threw money at something and it got better. With like the great microphones, I've got, you know, some, like a, a pair of stereo Neumann KM184 pencil condensers, which we'll use, which you'll hear. Again, that, that was, you know, a, a good investment that I made, but it's not like, oh, Expensive microphone, better recording. That's really not how it works, no. you know what I mean? Now with the 6176, that's like an EQ compressor thing that's just a phenomenal piece of gear. Again, not necessary. Don't be like, ah, oh, well I can't do this because I don't, I can't afford something like that. I'm like, no, that's just stupid. You can still get amazing sounding stuff without having expensive gear. Yeah, so that, that's basically it. If you with one condenser microphone, a condenser microphone, and one pencil condenser, which is how I do the acoustic covers that I do on my channel with, you know, Andrea, Kindred, mm -hmm. Ellie, Baron, all those people. Or if you want a bigger stereo spread, you can have two condens pencil condensers on. On each side. Yeah, on each side. And then you have a little bit more options of what you're doing. From what I found is that is definitely helpful in getting a wider sounding track that you can kind of bring the lows on the guitar into focus a little bit more, where I think it's a little bit harder to get, again, all of this is kind of nonsense. This is just my personal setup that we're that we're talking about here. And then the mixing, I don't I don't have a ton of plugins on my mixes. Like for what I do with the acoustic stuff, maybe I'll have a, a compressor on just the acoustic guitar track to focus it if I'm even doing that. I'm, a lot of times I don't even need to use the acoustic guitar track. A lot of times the one condenser microphone picks up everything just fine. And then I will put an EQ in the plugin channel on the master track. So it's EQing the guitar and the voice at the same time to kind of remove some of the mid-range frequencies a lot of times because acoustic guitar is one of those instruments that has like a, a beefy mid-range which sometimes can kind of make things not sound as crisp. So for some reason I thought that you were uh, EQing the, the voice separately from the guitar. Nope. Not not in oh, mine. Really? Now if I if I were like for, for our notice? studio studio notice? album where yeah. we where we recorded vocals separate from an acoustic guitar, then yeah, then you can kind of then you can oh, really. Oh, I see, I see. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh -huh. So you're talking about yeah, I'm talking more of like a live thing that you've recorded with your guitar and vocally okay. at the same time, okay. right? Mm -hmm. In that case, I'm just trying to like really create a representation of how it sounds in the room, and I generally, see. you know, you can take a little bit of the mids out of the overall track, and it kind of you get a, a better sense of like the high end, the Christmas crispness. Oh, the Christmas? The high, you get a Christmas feel, you know what I mean? It's the best feeling in the world, Is right? that a blooper? Every time I mix a track, I want the listener to feel like it's Christmas. Sometimes like a, like a tape saturation plugin is really cool, like the, like the Kramer tape one. Compression? Yeah, it's kind of like a compressor, but it, it just kind of adds like a, a brightness to it without it being harsh. Or sometimes you can EQ stuff. You've probably done this even in your show. Like if you have uh, like the highs and your EQ and you turn them up to it, it's like harsh, right? There's a difference between brightness and harshness, which I think that like tape saturation plugins kind of like do really well. Yeah, I think the tape saturation plugin sounds fine. A dash of reverb, just a little bit. I used to go way overboard with putting too much reverb on stuff. Me too. I'm yeah. learning the same thing. I, yeah, right? I think that's just it's something everybody does. Yeah. Pro tip that I wish I would have learned 10 years ago 
So on a lot of reverb plugins, there is an EQ thing. I've always just kind of not really used it. Mm -hmm. What that does is you can have it so it only applies the reverb to a frequency. And that's what the pros do. I always thought you just put reverb on a track and it's cool. But Me like, you, you want to do it where it's it's uh, the, you know, the highs for like a singer, you know, whatever frequency band that is. When they hit a, hit a note or something, you can have it so the EQ just puts the, or the reverb puts it on that part. And then last thing is just uh, a limiter, which I use the Waves L3. All that is is just to give it a competitive volume. That's it, that's all, that's all you need. I'm not, that sounds like a lot. Guess what? If you don't have this stuff, that's fine. You just need to do it because the more you do it, the better you get at it. And then maybe by the time you are in, hopefully you're in a position to get nicer gear, then you'll know how to use it. So here it is with just the vocal mic. Me on a night on the water. The wine and then I'll add the sweet. guitar mic in. And she danced with Cadencia. She was right there. Without. She moved in the dark. And wait. Feeling the heat. Of a night in Valencia. Thanks for these pro tips, bro. Hey, happy this to help. Good. No, this is awesome information. Yeah, hopefully, I mean, hopefully that just inspires people to just to do stuff. Because I remember I was like, well, you know, I don't have this. Maybe in six months I'll be able to afford this, so maybe I shouldn't record this because I should. No, that's, no, that's just do it. Just do it. Just yeah. do it. That's it. Speaking of just doing it, subscribe to this guy's channel. Just do it. Boom. Hit the notification. This is my channel. <laughs> yeah, I know. Subscribe to this guy's channel. Oh! In, ca in case you're watching it. Or don't. Whatever. That's fine. You don't have to. You're, you're right. I was assuming that the people watching is just the people that are already subscribed. Oh, no. I forgot. There's a possibility it is, it's, of the whole world watching this video. A slim possibility. A very like, very small like... possibility. But <laughs> just in case. This is fun, man. This is fun. Yeah. We should do this for a living, bro. Just making videos oh, and man. stuff. What a dream. All right, guys. I'll see you very soon. Namaste.